Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a full review to do for you on this. This is a Jacob Creates prototype fixed blade of the Bush Bandit. Um, and he sent this to me to check out and do some testing on, and check out and testing I have done. <laughs> um, this is really, really exciting. But first of all, Jacob's channel, or not his channel, his links will be listed down below. He's on Instagram. I believe he has an Etsy or some kind of site. Um, I'll link to everything where you can find him down there. A lot of you are probably already aware of his work. I have reviewed one of his knives before. He made me a custom fat boy, um, which was a lot of fun. And I still have that knife. It still makes it in the back of my fanny pack every now and then. And a great little EDC fixed blade. And so this is a newer model for him. This is the Bush Bandit. Like I said, this one's a prototype. And this is, I would say, similar in some ways to the Fat Boy that I reviewed, but also fairly different. And it definitely feels different in its like philosophy of use, at least what I get from it and what I believe he was going for on here. So uh, this one is a prototype. It may uh, have slight variance compared to the ones that he's making now, although I think it is pretty much still the same. Um, you can see I've been <laughs> a little rough on this. I don't know how well this will clean up with the, the marks that I've put on it, but uh, he did say I could test and use it. So I've been putting it really through its paces. Um, so let's talk about what I've done with this knife so far in terms of use, and then we'll talk about my impressions of it, and we'll talk ergos and, and performance and all that. So, so far, the way this is set up with this sheath, I have carried this on my belt uh, probably two or three times for an entire day, and then once also I, I did put it on my belt for the evening because I knew we were going over to my sister-in-law's house and we were gonna use the fire pit, and so I was like, oh, I'll use this to help process the firewood and whatever. Um, there's going to be more of a story there. but So I've carried it a couple times on my belt. I've carried it in the back of my fanny pack quite a few times. I've got that kind of slot. I usually wear my fanny pack crossbody, and so in the back slot, I can just put it in there. And if I ever need something more substantial than a folder, I like keeping an EDC fixed blade back there. Uh, this one's pretty thick and heavy <laughs> as EDC fixed blades go, although the profile is about right. I do believe he makes these also in a thinner version. So if you're looking for one for EDC, it's probably gonna be the one that I'd recommend just because this is pretty hefty back here. But if you're looking for this to be out in the bush, this is a bush bandit, then thick may be the way to go. So anyway, carried it in my fanny pack quite a few times, carried it on my belt a couple of times. Um, one of those times was on a hike. I didn't film anything on that hike. I literally just wore it on an actual hike where I was just like covering distance for me, me time hike. And uh, it did great. It's again, it's kind of heavy, kind of thick, but especially in like an outdoor environment when I wasn't as worried about it, like concealing or anything like that. It's pretty comfortable. So I like this sheath. I like the way that it's set up with this soft loop. And I found that it carries fairly well for how chunky it is. Um, so yeah, story time. <laughs> the night that I went to my sister-in-law's and we were gonna be using the fire pit and I brought this. I thought that I had my um, hatchet in the trunk of my car and I didn't, it was in my closet. And so when we got there and I was working on processing some firewood, there was only like one or two pieces of actual firewood. And then they've been doing a bunch of construction over there. So there was a bunch of like two by fours and four by fours and like th even bigger pieces of like lumber than that. And uh, just little chunks, odds and ends that were at the most, I don't know, four feet long or whatever that had been like scrap pieces from whatever they were working on. And so um, in order to get a good rip and fire going and have enough wood to keep it going, I ended up needing to split some of that. And it was like, frankly, the perfect opportunity to get this out and baton with it. So I baton through a ton, <laughs> like just, I don't know how many, a lot of wood that night. Um, and it was super fun. This thing with this full flat grind, it was awesome for it. The blade length is a little stubby for like the bigger pieces. I was having to get creative there, but I was just finding literally resting this on the top of like a two by four and then taking another piece of wood and just hammering right here kind of toward the tip and chiseling my way down through. It is a thick blade stock. And so not only was it like 
batoning pretty well and felt really secure as I was doing it. But it did have a little bit of kind of a splitting effect at the end of the day too, where it wasn't just like gliding through, it was kind of dividing. And uh, it worked really, really well in that way. So I've done a lot of batoning with this knife, like a significant amount because I didn't have my hatchet. And so it was like, it was the tool that I had on me and I wasn't gonna use a folder for that. And so I, I really went ham on it that night. You can even see, I don't know if you can tell, but up toward the tip here on the spine, there are a couple of little dings there and stuff as well. Those may clean off a little bit. It may just be more like wood that's stuck on the surface. But anyway, um, it did really well for that. I've also done some feather sticking with it that same night. I find that a full flat grind does pretty well for feather sticking. So I found it did great. I really enjoyed feather sticking with it. The handle feels super thick in a good way in hand too, because it's really round and the blade stock is so thick. And this, I think this is Tarot Tough that he used. Um, it's pretty nice and thick and rounded and it just fills the hand well. So doing something like feather sticking, which can be really fatiguing. I don't know if you've, if you've ever feather sticked, you might be aware of this, but when you're really just trying to get a bunch of curls out of a stick, your hand, at least mine, gets tired relatively quick with that type of, it's very like grip strength and forearm and it's tiring, but a, a good solid purchase on a knife that's ergonomic and feels nice to hang on to makes a huge difference in a task like that. So did great for that kind of thing. And uh, I've also used it, I've put it through some paces as an EDC fixed blade. Even though this is a little, frankly, thick, like I keep mentioning, for my preference for an EDC fixed blade to have around town on my belt, um, I've opened quite a few boxes with it. I've processed a lot of cardboard for the dumpster with it. There's something about the, like, the surety of having a fixed blade for doing things like processing a bunch of boxes for a dumpster where it's like, you just feel it's more capable. It doesn't just feel more capable. Fixed blades are more capable because there's no moving parts. Everything is just solid. And uh, with this blade geometry, and even though it being so thick, it being this nice, tall, flat grind with a great edge on it, it's just, it's done really well for everything that I've thrown at it. And uh, I'm impressed. So yeah, I think what's interesting to me is this knife, if I were to like critique it in a way, I would say in this exact setup, this size and profile, if I were to keep it this same length and handle size and all that, I would probably want to get the thinner one. Not crazy thin, but I'd want to use a thinner blade stock than this because it would make it more comfortable to carry. It would be lighter weight and the thinner blade stock would make it even slicier for the EDC type stuff, although this did slice really well. Um, but mostly the weight, a little bit less chunkiness for something that's gonna go on the front of my belt in a sheath and ride with me all day would be kind of nice. Um, but on the flip side, for the outdoorsy stuff, like the batoning and all that, I loved the thickness of this thing. It just felt so capable. Um, so I think with this thickness, I'd almost say, like I might, I feel like I've seen him do one of these, or maybe I'm mistaken. He makes these one at a time, like custom builds these, right? If I were to have him do one of these for me, which maybe I'll end up doing that, I might have him make a longer one with this thickness and then just have it be a more outdoors focused knife and let go of the idea of EDCing it and have it be a bushcrafter and not just like an EDC bushcrafter kind of hybrid like I feel this is. Again, I had a great experience with it. Even like it is, just like this, I have bonded with this knife and I like it a lot. And if this was mine to keep, I would love it. I would cherish it. And it's like, it's really, really cool and capable and fun to use and it feels great. But yeah, I think ultimately with this thickness and this design and these ergos and this same basic profile, a little bit more blade length for those batoning tasks and for chopping, um, it would just feel a little bit more suited to that, I think. But then if you were to keep this same blade length and these same uh, proportions overall, a little bit of a thinner blade stock, you'd be lighter, you'd be even slicier. I think that could be really good. So I don't know. I, th I think this is a really, really cool knife. Um, it feels even more functional 
day to day than the fat boy which i have from him the fat boy is really cool and it's a small edc fixed blade which i like that it is so small and kind of stubby because sometimes really compact is the way to go when you just want to have a little fixed blade on you um but this one feels so much more like a bruiser like this one wants to go to work and it every time i've taken it there <laughs> it's done really really well so uh i apologize that i don't have outdoor footage of me using this by the way i've just been busier than normal lately um with uh, content for my wife and photography stuff and all that and so i haven't been able to do as much hiking and getting outdoors to do testing and stuff like that and frankly when i have been getting outdoors and hiking lately it's been much more like personal exercise and stress relief and i don't want to bring my whole camera and stuff to film and stop somewhere for an hour to film some videos. I just want to hike and <laughs> hike as hard and fast as I can and get to the top of things and feel good. And so I've done a few hikes like that lately, selfishly, and I just haven't been outdoors as much as I typically would be. But um, anyway, I assure you, <laughs> I have put this through its paces more than just about anything that I've tested, especially because uh, I should add as well, not only did that, that first night that I did the fire pit at my sister-in-law's house, we typically go there like every weekend. Um, the following weekend we did it again. And this time I had bundles of wood that I brought because I didn't want to deal with the nasty construction wood. Um, but even with that, I got bundles of hardwood and I was still using this because it's just like, it was a lot of fun and I, I enjoyed it. And so for a, a knife, this, short this small the capability is awesome um and how rough i was on it and how much it just kept on going so anyway i guess this is my full review of the prototype bush bandit fixed blade from jacob creates jacob ginsburg is an awesome dude i've met up with him by the way now twice we hung out at california custom knife show and then again not too long ago um just he and I and some knife buddies and really, really cool dude, talented maker, quirky guy, super funny. And, uh, I like the way he designs knives. I like the way he names knives. I think it's hilarious. I like the way he finishes his knives and he's a young kid and he's super talented and, uh, someone to watch for sure. Cause this is cool stuff that he's coming out with. And he's got quite a few models at this point. Um, check out his Instagram page. There's He's doing a lot of stuff, and it all looks really, really good to me. So anyway, that'll be that. That's my full review. Thanks for checking it out, guys. Jacob Ginsburg will be linked down below, or Jacob Creates, I should say. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.